Welcome to the loony bin. Our population keeps growing. In the wonderful inland island of Arizona, we now have Dingus, who came from Mr. Peralta. Here we got Mr. Potato Peeler, brought us Mary Catherine and Flanagan. And then, of course, the ever-dangerous Richard Rigsby brought us Finian. So we've got the whole group here. Why? Because they like green. They like green and they like Reich. Okay, that's enough of that. You guys, I know you like green. I know you're all Irish descent somehow. All our talisman of good fortune from uh, some of our wonderful viewers out there. Talking about the Reich M3. I like this knife. I really do. I like it a lot. I mean, I can't stay away from that. Here you go. Here's the model. This one, I got, I, I saw these at the... Uh, 2019 SHOT Show in Vegas. I went by, Reich had a booth there, right? And then with CH Knives there as well. So both of them were on the same table. And I saw this. It's titanium on one side. It's G10 on the other. But it's more affordable than some of their other knives because they can get expensive. And it's got a mirror 154CM blade. In here it says it right there okay really cool and they've made this kind of a well it's green okay so hey it kind of kind of matches at least they made an attempt pocket opener here i don't know maybe it could be a bottle opener i haven't tried to use this as a bottle opener it works crazy well as a wave type pocket opening system here you got a front choil you got a crazy blade on this thing. Look at the belly on that. And it's sharp. And we sent it for testing. Hold on, let's try this. Yes, very nice. Get the paper out of the way. It's a good size knife. Let's compare it maybe to, well, this one. I know people are getting worn out on the PM2 uh, comparison, but how about a big knife like the best tech, Swordfish. Whew. Still looks bigger than that, doesn't it? Hold on here. Let me get my tape measure, because that is a monster. Wow, four and a quarter, no wonder. Yeah, over nine inches, almost nine and a quarter overall. Uh, over 23 centimeters and definitely 100 and 105 somewhere in there millimeter blade so it is a big knife bigger than I remember then I I didn't I didn't remember it being quite that big a blade but it is a big blade really nice I love the action this thing is can be a fidget toy as well you know just Roll it around. There you go. Nice. Woo! Yeah, I like it. Centered up, no lock, rock, or blade play on this. There's your hardened steel insert. Now, how they do the over travel, but it's there. But it's not a. Yeah, it is. It's apparent right through there if you look. Got this mm, blue anodized titanium hardware, or I think it's titanium. Let's check it out. Well, let's first get the blade out because I know that's uh, magnetic. Oh yeah, okay. Um, this backspacer is definitely titanium. This frame is titanium. Mm, you know what? It's really hard to tell on these pieces unless you separate them out from, of course, you've got steel underneath this. And here, there's probably a piece going through here that is obviously magnetic as well. So in any case, not sure. 
but most of it, it's basically a titanium frame, titanium backspacer, titanium pocket clip, G10 scale, and a 154CM mirror polished blade that is very sharp, waves out of the pocket great. There's your jimping on your flipper tab, which is also milled out. Blade stop. Very nice. Uh, you can flick it forward with this, but that can get to be a bit edgy. Um, not that it's edgy, but I mean, look at that. Yeah, so kicking that with your finger can be inconvenient. Although you can open it that way, thumb or middle finger, just like that. Nice sharpening choil up here. You can get these, I believe, maybe in a black as well. Uh, this will give you a little bit more information. $165, so it's not as expensive as some of the Reich knives are. 9.125, you know. Uh, drop point, flat grind. Handle is pretty long. Let me see if i got something else here. Um... Well, a little bit more pause and read if you want. Modeled after the M1, etc., etc. And here you go, everyday carry. Uh, we did send it in to have it tested. Here's the results from our testing. Yes, it's real 154 cm, and the HRC was 60. So that was really a really solid uh, HRC reading. And there's your elemental list. I like it. I don't know. I grab it. I pick it up. I carry it. I just like it. I know. Maybe partially because it's big. Uh, partially because it waves really cool out of the pocket. Uh, partially because I really like the Reich uh, brand of knives, they make a lot. You know, the Thor 5, the Thor 6, the Thor 1, 2, and 3 as well. Uh, but a lot of other models as well. And, of course, we've discussed this. No, this is Andre de Villiers' scavenger knife, right? What's that got to do with Reich? Of course, Reich made it. So, you can see a lot of that Thor 5, Thor 6... Uh, machining ability here in the scavenger, which is a huge knife. So maybe it's appropriate to line these up because this is a monster, okay? And this looks small by comparison, even though this is over nine inches long. So check that out. Yeah, love the scavenger. Crazy knife. Integral. Lots of machining going on there. So... You know, Reich, they're not just a regular old name brand kind of thing, are they? You know, I mean, people, Kaiser, We, Best Tech, a lot. If you're talking about the Chinese knife companies, you know, Real Steel and things like that. But Reich doesn't really come up in that conversation. Riot, you know, those kinds but no, but they're maybe a little bit out there, kind of like Max Ace to a degree, but they do some, just some incredible machining. The knives, I really like. And yes, very angular designs, very different, you know, very kind of out there, and I like that. Centered up, no blade player lock rock on this, real solid knife. Don't think I've ever had this apart before. But like I said, send it in for testing. Test it out great. So, excellent. Big knife. Ergos. Great. Detent. It's not the strongest. There we go. Uh, 5.2. Maybe on my D10 scale, which probably should run from a 
three to uh, seven. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of in the middle there. Not a very strong detent, but I think the detent is appropriate for this knife. Snap. This thing. Great. Love the action. It's just really ceramic bearings on the pivot. Just excellent in all respects. Whew. I love it. Well, let's tear it apart. Why not, huh? Do we need a number six or a number eight for the whole thing? And I think we can do the whole thing in a number eight, and I think we can. And so let's find out which side is the pivot screw and which side is not. This side is the pivot screw. And we got something in here. Huh. Wonder what that is. I guess we'll clean that out, whatever that was. But number eight's all the way through. Well, that came loose. Have we got enough? Well, we got the pocket clip off from the back side there. And that's what that, that screw goes all the way through there and secures the pocket clip. Didn't know that. Did not know that. Well, you learn something when you take a knife apart. Don't know what this is. <laughs> is that thread locker? Wow. Okay, so maybe we don't have this screw in the middle out all the way. But we're gonna. I feel it letting go finally. There we go. There's our backspacer, which is titanium. So we'll be able to find out a little bit more about these. Where's my magnet? Okay, so no, that is magnetic. So that's coated. That's probably not, that's not titanium, obviously. Interesting. Don't know what they used in here. Multi-row ceramic bearings. No wonder it's so smooth. Wow. The other side, pretty clean. Okay. And here we go here. And of course, on this side also is your steel washer. Here's your lock bar inset with ceramic detent ball. That all looks good. Hmm. So what is this all about? Let's pull this off of here. Well, we've got this. Oh, okay. This screw goes all the way through from the front to do the pocket clip. And what was this? I don't know. Hmm. There we go. Pop that out. Don't know. Some kind of mysterious substance, but it's gone now. And of course, we have steel reinforcement around the pivot. And here's the uh, stop pin still stuck in there. Let's make sure we remove whatever this was. We got all the parts together? Yes, we do. Interesting. Now, this is titanium. This is titanium. The screws are not titanium. They are steel. And it's interesting. There you go. This goes all the way through the one screws in from the other side. I guess we could put 
this knife back together and I, the actual tube came through from the backside. So that was interesting. There we go, just like that. Let's stack a blade on here. Let's get some uh, lube of some sort, KPL work. Always nice to put the bearings on. And on we go. Right here. Might be a good idea to have our blade stop put in here on this side. And a little bit of lubrication and bearings. Top side. Oh, got to put in backspacer right here and got to run our uh, screw through. There we go. And we're almost lined up, almost kind of lined up. Put our decorative pivot ring on. And see if we can give ourselves get ourselves together here. So, you know what? I think got this in the wrong place. I think this goes through here. There we go. And this from the other side, which is in number eight. Like that. And then this goes through to uh, hook up the uh, pocket clip. We gotta get this just lined up right. There we go. Just like that. Now a pocket clip goes on here. Shortly. Just like that. So we should be pretty much back together and it looks pretty centered up. Well, no play. No blade play. Yeah, looks centered right here in the middle. Yeah, that'll work. Well, interesting trip through here. This being a tube, this being a screw, this being a long screw that goes all the way through and secures the pocket clip. Multi-row ceramic bearings and some mysterious pink, must have been thread locker or something in there that was unnecessary, but I think we've got her all figured out now. Reich knives. I Reich my knife, that's for sure. And you know what? If they want to make these, that's fine by me too, because I'm digging that all day long. All right. Gonna let you go. We played around with the damn thing long enough. Class dismissed. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys.
Stay sharp.